Well, good morning to everyone. As uh, Vice-Chancellor of the University of London, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to this 2014 Global Institution Symposium, uh, which we've entitled Aiming Higher Together. Uh, this is the largest international gathering of our network of institutions ever, a testimony to its growing strength. Now, you will all know that the higher education landscape in which we work is highly challenging for all of us today. Challenging, but there also means there are many opportunities. The market for transnational education is growing and predicted to continue to grow, both as a result of increasing numbers in the relevant age cohorts and of increases in economic development. There are also changes to HE policy, the regulatory frameworks for that policy, and as you will well know, increased competition from both local and international providers, as well as challenges from disruptive technologies such as open access MOOCs. So a challenging environment, but one with many opportunities. And in this environment, uh, the University of London international programs remain very successful, building on our very long history and experience. It's now over 150 years we've been opening up global access to higher education while maintaining world-class higher educational standards. And as you will all know, uh, with over 54,000 international students currently, we are the largest provider of education outside our own university campuses in the UK. So a great success story, very high standards, but however successful we've been in the past, uh, we cannot stand still. Um, all the things I've mentioned about increased competition, regulatory frameworks, and so on. So this was why one of my first initiatives when I took up the post of Vice-Chancellor in the university was to set up a steering group to explore strategic governance and organizational issues and options relevant to the future development of the international programs. And one of the main outcomes from that steering group has been the recognition that we probably need more flexible and multi-track approaches to developing new programs. We need to be able to respond more flexibly to the needs of the market, changing expectations of potential students and the aspirations of the lead colleges. So we have on the drawing board a number of ideas for new programs as well as MOOCs and these will be rolled out over the next few years. And as that happens, there will, of course, be opportunities for you to add some of these to the portfolio of programs you offer in your institution. At the same time, we will be refining the relationship between the lead colleges and the International Academy to ensure we have the right governance and management arrangements in place to enable these new programs to be as successful as possible. So as we go forward, we need to think about what are the key priorities, what are the key important issues for the success of the international program. And I would make two main points. The first one, we absolutely cannot compromise on standards. The unique selling point of the University of London international programs growing on the external degrees has always been that we maintain high standards across our offering. And this is one of the things that distinguishes us from other providers. So as we expand and diversify, we have to keep finding new innovative ways to keep those standards among the highest in the world. So in particular, we need to harness the power of new technologies to enhance the learning environment for students and to provide better support and feedback facilities. So quality, high standards. Secondly, we cannot compromise our commitment to the network of global institutions that we work with. This is in, indispensable to our joint success. 69% of current undergraduate students are now studying at these institutions, over 130 of you in 41 countries. And each of you today brings unique local knowledge, networks and practices and each of you increases access to world-class education for people in your country. So we highly value how your institutions improve the experience of students in the classroom and prepare them for the world of work. And we are committed and remain committed to working in partnerships with yourselves to ensure that you get the support you need to reach the high standards that characterize our degrees 
and to stay competitive and relevant in today's changing environment. So the individual relationships with our institutions are really important to us. And both the lead colleges and the International Academy are putting in place new processes to strengthen and nurture these relationships. And above all, and that's part of the point of a symposium like this, we need to listen and learn from you. So this symposium is one of the ways in which we can strengthen the dialogue uh, to refine our relationships with you and to maintain high standards. But the effectiveness of the network doesn't lie merely in the bilateral relationships between the centre and individual institutions, or indeed between the centre and all institutions collectively. The effectiveness of the network can be enhanced by all parts of the network working together, learning from each other to grow and achieve more. And you fed back to us in the consultation that led up to this symposium that in order to achieve more, you wish to learn more from each other. So I believe that the way the symposium has, has been designed has taken account of what you've said. Uh, and there are institutions presenting in nearly every session at this symposium. And I think this shows a, an increasing maturity in the network, one that we want to foster in collaboration uh, with yourselves. So from my perspective as Vice Chancellor, um, welcome. I want to wish you all a very enjoyable and fruitful symposium, and I look forward to meeting many of you at the reception this evening. Welcome.